Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to answer a question which is from a Solomon paper, Solomon H. It's from the statistics um, collection S1. Um, and it's question number five from Solomon H. Also, question number 10 from my end of topic worksheet for S1, um, which is um, number six discrete random variables. Um, and this question here is about the letters of the word distribution which are written on separate cards the cards are then shuffled and the top three are turned over um, let the random variable v be the number of vowels that are turned over show that the probability that v equals one is equal to 21 over 44. okay so the letters of the word distribution are written on separate cards the cards are then shuffled and the top three are turned over so basically you're picking at random Okay, you're picking cards at random, you don't know what they are, they've been shuffled around, anything could come up, you know, when you pick up the cards. Okay, so it's a random kind of a process here that's going to take place. And you take a card, you turn it over. So this basically means when you take a card, you turn it over, you place it down, you don't put it back in the pack of cards, you pick up another one, turn it over, another one, you turn it over. So basically, this is kind of like taking the cards out and not replacing them back in the pack. All right, so that's those are the two things that we can uh, realize from that. The other thing is they're talk, we're talking about vowels. So you have either vowels or consonants. So we can see here that the number of vowels, can we say vowels, is you got I, we've got the, there's one, two, three I's, and then you got O, one O, U, I, O and U are the only vowels here. I, O and U. Okay. So you've got five vowels. And you've got consonants. Of course, you've got seven consonants because there's 12 num There's twelve altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's seven consonants and five, five vowels. There's 12 um, letters altogether, 12 cards that are, are, can, can be picked from. So we want to find the probability that v equals one that means we're going to probably when we pick three cards so the the experiment here is that you take three cards and you turn them over and the random variable is equal to is basically the number of vowels that you could get when you turn those cards over so the values of v can either be either one sorry zero you could pick out all three cards and none of them are vowels so you could have zero vowels or you could have one vowel, or you could have two vowels, or you could have three vowels. Those are all the possible values for V, the random variable, okay? Because you could have, pick out all three as consonants, or you could pick one of them as a vowel, or two of them are vowels, or all three of them could be vowels. Those are the different possible um, outcomes from this experiment for the random variable V, which is defined as a number of vowels. So we got to find the probability that v equals 1 is 21 over 44. So we're concentrating on this one. So think about all the ways of getting th uh, one vowel in three picks. Well, we could have uh, a vowel, and then we could have two consonants. Or we could have a consonant, and we could have a vowel, and then we could have a consonant. Or we could have two consonants, and then we could have a vowel. These are all the ways of getting uh, a vowel and two consonants okay the different combinations so we got to combine all these three different combinations now remember we're taking a card and we're not replacing it so let's look at the first scenario you pick a vowel first well there's five out of twelve so that's that's pretty simple okay but then the second pick the second pick so times it's going to be consonant now we didn't put the vowel back so there was twelve cards now there's 11 left because we've taken one of the cards out, which was a vowel, and we didn't put it back in again. So that means there's 11 cards left to choose from, but there's still seven consonants. And for the third pick, now we've taken out two cards. So there's 10 cards left, and one of the cards we picked out was a consonant, so there's six consonants left. Okay, so that will give me the probability of a vowel first and then two consonants. Now, what I'm going to also do, I'm going to show you this, although in the end we're not going to actually... Um, well, I'll show you how we can do this uh, without actually having to carry on doing it because I'll just show you the pattern that you'll see. 
Okay, so you can understand why I'm going to do what I'm going to actually do at the end is something slightly different. So consonant, vowel, consonant. So that would be, let's see if we did it this way, 7 out of 12 for the consonant first. Okay, then there's 11 cards left, still 5 vowels in there. But then the last card's got to be consonant, so there's 10 cards left. We've already taken a consonant, so there's 6 left. Now notice the numbers here are the same. 5, 7, 6, 7, 5, 6. If you multiply them, you're going to get the same product, even the denominator 12, 11, 10. And similarly, if we've got consonant, consonant, vowel, so we have 7 consonants out of 12 times, and then it's going to be 11, 6 consonants out of 11, and then vowels, which are 5, there's still 5 vowels, 5 vowels out of 10. Notice they're all the same. So if I can combine these together, I've basically got 3 times 5 over 12 times 7 over 11 times 6 over 10. And what I can do here is I can just cancel out things. For example, I can cancel this. That's going to give me a 4 here and a 1 here. I can cancel out the 5 and the 10. That's going to give me a 2 there. I can cancel out um, the 2 and the 6 gives me a 3 there. So I'm left with 7 times 3, which is 21, over 4 times 11, which is 44. And that's what we had to show. Okay, so we found that the probability that you get the, the, that the, there's one vowel, the random variable equals 1, is equal to 21 out of 44. So we've proved that. Okay, so that's part A done. Now we've got to find the probability distribution of V. So now we've got to look at the other, all of them together and make a table. What you do is make a table. So, so you have V and you have the probability that V equals V. Okay, so you're going, you're going to have like table I'll make a little table here just to make it look a bit neater okay so you have zero and you have one and you have two and then you have three okay try to make it look as neat as I can okay so let me just um, we, are, we have basically those possibilities the the value of V could either be zero or one or two or three that's the number of vowels that could appear in three picks we already found this is 21 over 44 okay now we've got to find the ones for the rest so let's think about the probability that v equals zero okay so we've got to think about basically having consonant 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 which is going to be given by the number of consonants was uh, seven so you have seven over 12 times six over 12 to over 11 sorry because you're taking one card out six over 11 times 5 over 11 and there's only that one possibility there's no other uh, 5 over 10 so what am I talking about 7 over 12 times 6 over 11 times 5 over 10 because you're taking a card out each time one less consonant one less card okay so there's no other possible ways of getting three consonants just one way so we can start cancelling out this is going to give you one and this is going to give you two that's also going to give you one and that's going to give you two so you're left with 7 over 44 7 over 44, 7 times 1 times 1, 22 times 2, 44. So 7 over 44 for uh, V equals 0. Then we've got to think about V equals 1. Now in this case, we're going to have a vowel and two consonants, consonant, vowel, consonant, and consonant, consonant, vowel. I like to do it so this kind of moves across like that, like I did for this one. It was, uh, you know... That, that was like the vowel moving across. This time it's a consonant moving across. That's one vowel. In fact, we've already found that. What am I talking about? I'm sorry. Excuse me. We, we just did that up there. Okay, I was wondering why it was the same. We're going to find, we found V equals 1 and 0. Now we've got to find V equals 2, sorry. So two vowels. So we're going to have two vowels and a consonant. And we're going to have a vowel, consonant, and a vowel. And we're going to have um, a consonant and two vowels. Okay, so the C is moving across here. So... Again, similarly to what we what we kind of discovered in the pattern over here, we're going to have the same kind of thing. So if I think about it for one of them, it will be the same numbers repeating on the numerator denominator. So I just have to do three times because I know there's three cases of it. I have a vowel, let's say vowel first is going to be, uh, was 5 over 12? Yep, 5 over 12. And then a vowel second, which would be 4 over 11. And then a consonant third, there's still seven consonants, but over 10. Okay, and you'll notice that we'll get the same thing. It would be 5 over 12 uh, times, it will be 7 over 11, and then it will be 4 over 10. So you get, you'll have 5, 4, and 7 in different orders, but the same numbers will be multiplied. 
So that's why I can just take one of those cases and multiply by three, I'll get the same answer and it makes life a bit easier. So again, let's try and cancel the three cancels with the 12, giving me four, the four cancels with the four, there's a one, one, one there, five cancels with the 10, that gives me one and a two. So we're left with here seven on top over 11 times two, which is 22. So that's seven over 22. Okay, and then the probability that you get all three vowels, vowel equals three, is just basically one case, vowel, 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 which is basically five over 12, because it's five vowels uh, times four over 11, times three over 10, and again, things will cancel out. There's a one there, there's a two there. The four cancels out with the 12, giving you a three. The three cancels with the three, giving you one and one. So we're left with here uh, one over 22. One over 22. Okay, now we want to make sure that we haven't made a mistake. I mean, I could have worked out, you know, this one. I could have worked out this first and then done one minus the rest of them to find that. I, I didn't. I didn't. I chose, every, I chose to find every single one of them because I want to make sure in the end I have done the right thing. And I can make sure by adding these together and you should get one, which is like 44 over 44. So we have seven over 44 plus 21 over 44 plus seven over 22 is like 14 over 44, equivalent fraction. And one over 22 is like two over 44. So that gives us seven plus 21 that's 35 35 plus uh um sorry what am i talking about yeah well no, that's 35 sorry 21 plus 14 is is 35 35 plus 7 is 42 42 plus 2 is 44 okay so you have 44 over 44 which is equal to 1 so we know we've done the right thing yeah 7 that's 28 30 30 plus 14 44 so we know one when we've done that and we've seen that we've got uh, the, the sum of the probability distributions as one, we know that we're on the right tracks. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next part. So I'm going to use this table that we have here. Okay, so now we have to use this table and we have to find E, V and variance of V. So E, V is expectation of V, expected value of V, sometimes known as the mean. So E, V here is going to equal now, to find the expected value of the mean, you multiply the random variable by its probability and you find the sum of all of those products. So you have 0 times 7 over 44, which is, I'll just write it for the, for the steps, but 0 times 7 over 44, which is going to be 0, plus 1 times 21 over 44, which is going to give you 21 over 44, plus 2 times 7 over 22, which is going to give you 14 over 22, plus 3 times... 1 over 22, which is going to give you 3 over 22. So you end up with 0. So you'll have 21, okay, um, over 44, uh, plus 14 over 22, plus 3 over 22. Okay, so if I make them all over 44 to add them together, I could use my calculator, but I'm not bothering right now. So this is going to give me 42 over 44. Um, oh, sorry, this is 21 over 44. What am I doing? This is still the same. That's not changed. The other two have changed. That's 21 over 44, sorry. And this is going to be 28 over 44. And this is going to be 6 over 44. If I add those together, I'm going to get 28 plus uh, 21, which is 49. 49 plus 5 is 55 over 44, which um, 5 goes into both of those. Uh, 11 goes into both of those, so that's 5 over 4. So we can say the expected value of V is equal to 5 over 4. So that's the expected value of V. Now we've got to find the vari variance of V. The variance of V. What happened there? I've got to move this to the other side. Okay, the variance of V. Okay, now the variance of V is basically equal to the mean of the squares, which is E V squared. That's like the mean of the squares minus and then you're going to have the square of the mean which is ev all squared which is the square of what we just found now so to find the variance we need to find what ev squared is now ev squared is going to be basically taking the v values and squaring them so this is going to be v squared i'll write it up here zero that will still be one that'll be four and that'll be nine and doing the same thing with 
the v squared times the probabilities. So again, we have 0 times 7 over 44 plus, and you have again 1 times 21 over 44. But now we're going to have 4 times 7 over 22 times, uh, sorry, plus. I'm getting mixed up with my plus and my minuses and the, my multiplications there. So this is 0 times 7 over 44 plus 1 times 21 over 44 plus 4 times 7 over 22, okay, plus 9 times 1 over 22, okay, and that will give me EV squared, that's the square of the mean, okay, the, the, the mean of the square, sorry, that's a 0, that will be 21 over 44, and that will be plus 28, 4 8 to 28, 4 7 to 28, sorry, over 22, plus 9 over 22, Okay, so we can add these together. That's 21 over 44 plus, that's over 44 times 2. Uh, tw 22 times 2, the 28 times 2 is 56 plus, and we got 9 times 2 is 18, so 18 over 44. So that's going to give me, so E V squared is going to be equal to, that's 21 plus 18, that's uh, 38, 39 uh, plus 56. 39 plus 56, that gives you 5, uh, 15, that's 8, 95. So that's 95 over 44 is EV squared. So now we've got to find the variance of V. So the variance of V is going to be this EV squared, which is 95 over 44, minus the square of um, EV. And EV was... We found it here, 5 over 4, minus 5 over 4 squared. So you end up with 95 over 44 minus 25 over 16. Okay, so now um, let's try to add these together. I'll just use my calculator now. So we have 95 over 44 minus 25 over 16. That is the variance of V, which is 105 over 176. 105 over 176. So the variance of V is equal to 105 over 176. You can leave your answer like this unless they tell you otherwise. Yeah, I left it like this, no problem. You don't have to put it to 3SF unless they tell you to. You can leave it in this exact form. So there's EV. And there's a variance of V. That's the answer to this part of the question. And I think that's, that completes this question. Uh, thank you for watching. Other, other questions from this particular topic of, uh, or from this particular Solomon paper, when I get around to answering the other questions, you will find in this playlist over here from Solomon HS1. Uh, other questions to do with discrete random variables from S1 will be found in this playlist. Subscribe to my channel by clicking on, on this link and on the top of the page you'll have a card which was preparing from the beginning of the video time to time which will take you to an s1 paper uh, a full paper that i've answered in the past so thank you for watching and see you soon